super excited to preach something, I'll jump ahead of him. So tonight I want to keep that gear and neutral. Amen. And let him move it around. Amen. But John, did I tell you chapter and verse? No. You're just hitting in John anywhere, ain't you? Amen. You ain't going to go wrong. Amen. Right? You end up in chapter one, you're going to find the word. You're going to find as many as it Amen. As many trust him. I mean, bless God, he gave them the power to become the sons of God. Amen. 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 You find over in John 2, you'll find the first miracle he ever done. Amen. You get over in John 3, you'll find a man that, that, that wanted God but didn't know how to obtain it. And then he got told to be born again from Amen. above. Amen. Right. So, and you're just opening up the John. My point is you can't go wrong. John 11, you'll watch a miracle of life. Amen. But Amen. you turn to John chapter 6. That's where I'm going to be at tonight. Amen, brother. Amen. That's good. There was a lot of things that John fell at me in these verses. And the Lord really pressed on my heart to preach this tonight. I want to preach on this thought. Where are you going? Amen. John chapter 6, verse 63. When you find 63, would you stand with me for the honoring of the reading of the Word of God? The Bible says in John 6, 63... It is the spirit that quickeneth. That word quickeneth just being made alive. Right. The, the flesh profiteth nothing. Now if I was just to break them two lines down, this is what it's saying. God's good and, you're and you and I, we're nothing. Amen. Yep. Amen. That's what I said. Amen. 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 There's some eye the Bible says that's filthy rags. Amen. Amen. Filthy rags mean that you, you wouldn't put on if if I was to take off a shirt that was covered in sweat and blood and, and anything else and I took it off and I said, who'd like to wear this? You wouldn't say, well, I'd like to have that shirt. Amen. 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 But with God, Amen. 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 He gives us a new change, a new garment. Amen. Amen. The Spirit makes us alive, gives us what we need. But you and I, you and I are just, we're just trouble in all this. Amen. Says the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. But there are some of you that believe not. For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believed not and should betray him. And he said, therefore I said I unto you that no man cometh unto me except to be given unto him of the Father. That much I'm going to get saved later. Yep. Yep. Right. Amen. That's right. That's not Bible. That's right. nope. You can't if you if you got a knock on the heart right now. Now's the acceptable time. You walk out of here with I'm going to do it when I want to do it when it's right for me, and there ain't no drawing to the Holy Spirit of God. You will not get saved. Amen. Amen. That's right. He said, well, I don't know if that's true. Well, look at what he says here. He said, therefore I said to you that no man can come unto me except that were given unto him of my Father. For that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more Amen. with him. Right. Amen. Then said Jesus unto the twelve, 
Will ye also go away? Amen. Here comes our little buddy on the side. <laughs> then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words Amen. of eternal life. Amen. And we believe and are sure that thou art the Christ, the Son of of the living God. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I do ask you to bless the message tonight. Lord God, use me as your mouthpiece, Lord, and get me out of the way. God bless, Lord, everything said, God, as it brings praise, honor, and glory to you. Lord, I am a man of unclean lips. And Lord, I'll need the Holy Ghost fire to cleanse me, Lord, to be used tonight. And God, would you use me as only you can use me. Do that with your word, only you can do it. Bless this service now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. amen. And amen. You may be seated. So, here is a drawing line. There's no confusion in this. There's a line being drawn in the sand right here between those that will continue on for the cause of Christ and those who will not. I want to tell you that this is some of the scariest words you will ever read in your Bible. There are some sitting in here right now. There is a, a lack of belief. You put on as if though you believe, but the Bible is very clear that Jesus knows, even from the beginning, who does not believe. Amen. There are some sitting in here, number one, that do not believe that salvation comes by the Lord Amen. and by Him only. Amen. You do not believe that the blood of Christ really can wash away your sin because even in a moment in a time of calling upon His precious name and trusting in His finished work, you came to a place of doubt and thought to yourself, it cannot be that easy. I want to take your Bibles to 1 Corinthians chapter 15. And I want you to look down in verse 1. Amen. In 1 Corinthians 15, 1. I want you to understand the words that you're looking at tonight. It says, moreover. Moreover is the show of the emphasis of what we are dealing with here. Salvation trumps everything. Amen. 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 So I don't care how good a Christian you act like you are. Amen. I don't care what type of church member you try to be. I do not care how you try to get your affairs to line up so that everyone that looks at you thinks to themselves, man, these are good Christian folk, Noah, and you can do all that. And I'll tell you uh, uh, very identifiably where you are going. You are going to a devil's hell Amen. if you die Amen. in that condition. Amen. Amen. Salvation trumps everything. Amen. It's more important than your testimony. Because without salvation, you have no testimony. Amen. And without salvation, you have no walk. Without salvation, Amen. you can't even understand what the Word is trying to convey unto Amen. you. That's and right. All this will seem very confusing. It will seem very disorientating because Amen. you step back and look at it and think to yourself, why must this be? It's a dividing line. Mm -hmm. That's right. There are some of you that may be sitting in here right now, maybe watching the way of that old television internet. Amen. And you're Amen. sitting there and you don't understand why we would go to church. You don't understand why anybody would want to be Amen. yelled at. And by the way, I do not come here to yell at anybody. Amen. The Bible says to lift your voice as a trumpet and preach the word. You got to forgive me. I'm just an old fashioned, Holy Ghost driven preacher. I don't know any other way. I, I don't have a soft voice. I just believe that I'm an old Baptist. I have voice cried in the wilderness. Make strange paths. Amen. 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 There's only one path to 
be on to this yep. morning. There's only one path to walk on this morning. And what's very identifiable, Brother Frank, is that God would not have put that in our text unless there were some who were trying to fake like they believed. But Jesus said, hey, you can pull the lamb skin over your pastor's eyes. And you can pull the lamb skin over the church members' eyes. He said, but I knew from the very beginning that you did not believe. Amen. You say that's Calvinism. That ain't Calvinism. That's sovereignty. Amen. That's, right. Amen. that's not Calvinism. That's Amen. Bible doctrine. Amen. Amen. Come on, brother. The Calvinism. Calvinism's out of hell. Amen. But the Bible is the truth, uh, and the truth. Uh, oh, brother Robert gives. I like how he fixed me on this. It don't set you free. It makes you free. Amen. Amen. That's right. Some you set loose can get trapped again. That's right. When I got made free, I'm no longer able to be bound up Amen. in this old wicked world, and no longer is my soul eligible to go to hell. When I Amen. got saved, uh, the love of Christ compelled me, it constrained me, and thank God it saved me. Uh, but I'm telling you tonight, I'll tell you where some are going for sure. You're going to a place called hell because you don't Amen. believe. Amen. Say, moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also you have received, and wherein you stand. By the way, if you stand in anything tonight, it's the gospel of the Lord Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. If you stand in anything tonight, it is the gospel you're standing on. If you're standing on anything else, if you're standing on how you've changed. Amen. Come on, brother. Come on, bro. Tell them about so that, brother. brother. I'm better than I used to be. You can clean up that pig all you want. You can polish her up. You can smack lipstick on her. You can put blush on them big fat cheeks of that old pig. But at the end of the day, it ain't no child of God. It ain't Man. no child of God. It's still an old pig in the mind. Man. Man. People say, well, Brother Hargis, I backslid. You got to get somewhere to backslide from. Amen, Amen brother. You got to get somewhere to get right from. I hate you dealt with that for five years. But can I tell you, a true born again child of God, sooner or later God's going to get a hold of you. Amen. Amen. Sooner or later that gospel is going to grab you by the neck and you're either going home or you're getting right. Amen. 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 Can't find in the scripture where anybody was able to live a half in, a half out life. I'm telling you, friend, if you ain't standing on the gospel today, you ain't standing on anything. Else. Bible says in verse two, by which also you're saved. You say, "Well, I'm saved because of my prayer." Come on. I can't find. Where your prayer alone will save you. Amen. Amen. Be before the Ethiopian eunuch was ever allowed to pray, Brother Frank. He had to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ with all his heart. Before the old publican ever got to pray, Amen. he had to believe there was a God he was praying to. Amen. And before you ever quote your three little points and a soothing conscience, little riddle of rhyme up here, and what you believe is you rectifying yourself before an almighty God, you understand without belief, without faith. The Bible says in Hebrews 11, 6, but without faith it's impossible to please God. And we must believe that He is and He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. I tell you right now, we've got a lot of people that claim to be saved that's never had a conversion moment because they believe what they were saying Amen. instead of believing what he did. Amen. 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 I came from a Southern Baptist church that didn't teach you anything else but salvation, but I thank God they at least knew that it did not come by works of righteousness. It did not come by the way of the law. In fact, the Bible tells us in Galatians that if it came by the law, then Christ was dead in vain. I, I thank God today that my righteousness may have been filthy rags and my righteousness is still filthy rags, but I'm standing on a solid rock today. Amen. Amen. Verse 2, by which also you're saved if you keep in memory what I preach unto you, unless you believed in vain. Amen, amen. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, that he was buried, that he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. Amen. By the way, you are not so special that you get to get saved however you want to be saved. Amen. 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 
better out there to pick the way you go when it comes to the way of salvation. If, hey, look at me. You got choices after salvation. But before I move on to my next point, I'm talking about, hey, the first place I know that you're going, if you believe not the gospel, you are headed to a devil's hell tonight. Amen. Amen. And I will tell you right now, if you reject the Lord Jesus Christ one more time, hey, it will not shock me if God kills them and sends them to hell. God shall not be mocked. And what sort of man saw that should also read. And I'm telling you right now, you been sowing too much into the flesh. Amen. Amen. But God knew before anybody was born, they knew they wouldn't believe. And can I tell you that the lack of belief in salvation only equates to one thing. You go straight to hell when you die. There is no past go. There is no second chance. There is no second opportunity. And what that brings unto us, listen to me, but do you understand how, how serious this message is tonight and how serious the situation? He already knew they were going to hell, but he still asked the disciples a very serious question. Amen. In verse 67, go back in our text. The first, I know where you're going. Oh, you can't tell me where I'm going. I got enough Bible authority to tell you where you're going. Amen. Amen. If you ain't coming by the grace, Amen. through right. faith, without belief, belief is faith. Amen. 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 I mean, belief is faith. Well, faith Amen. is the substance of things hoped for without the evidence of things seen. Amen. You can look at them, you don't get to see salvation. You either believe it or you don't. Amen. Are y'all all right? Amen. Yeah. I'm talking about, hey, without faith it's impossible to please yeah. God. Without faith it's impossible to get saved. Amen. For by grace are you saved through faith. That boy I preached it earlier today. Amen. For by grace are you saved through faith. And that not of yourself. It's a gift of God, not of worth. But any man should most. I have enough spiritual authority to tell you that if you don't have faith, I know where you're going. Amen. 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 And it ain't going to be no beach. Amen. Amen. It ain't going to be the party in hell's canceled, by the way. Amen. 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 All let me tell you what's in hell. I ain't going to re preach David Draper's message that I think he preached just fine on it. But I'll tell you what hell is uh, it's a well in a nation of teeth, uh, it's an eternal damnation. Hey, it never ends, it never lacks up, and you don't ever get to have a break. If you don't have faith in Christ, I know. Where you're going. Amen. Amen. But he asks a serious question. In verse 67. Then Jesus said unto the twelve. You know why this is so serious? Do you believe that he's the Alpha and the Omega? Amen. Do you know what you believe? He, believe? he knows the beginning from the end. Amen. Do, do you believe that he is the resurrection and the life? Do you believe that he is God in the flesh? Do you believe that he came down here from heaven? And by the way, he never left heaven. He's omnipotent. He's still in heaven when he, when he was down here. That's right. Amen. Amen. I, had bro- I had a brother throw a jewel at Amen. to me. And I got excited on it. Let me tell you how big your God is. Amen. Keep your hand right there in John. John 6. Amen. Amen. <laughs> let me find in John 3. Go John 3. Amen. Y'all know who it is when I start sounding like you here in a minute. They said, Brother Harvest. Brother Harvest. You know how they said he left the splendors of glory. <laughs> So it sounds good. He said, but he never left. Right. Amen. Amen. He was there and here. That's right. Amen. Then old brother Jonas Horn got up there and preached on the grace of God, and we're just as much there as he is here. Amen. That's what the Bible says. Amen. I was, Don't get excited, brother. Come on. Ephesians 2 6 ought to make every hair on That's our heads right. stand up. But John chapter 3, look down in verse 13. And the Bible says that no man hath ascended up to heaven but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man, which is in heaven. 
when he was talking to Nicodemus, he was standing right there and he said, This all anger said, and who remember where Proverbs 30 he said, What's his name and what's his son's name? Amen. 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 Amen.
for popularity. I ain't never been in this to please a crowd. I am this to please a Christ. And I'm telling you, many will not go the way they should go because of the pressures of man. Amen. Verse 27, an unjust man is an abomination to the just. And he that is upright in the way is an abomination to the wicked. Can I tell you, you and I, or to just make up our mind, I don't care where that crowd's going. I don't care if they get rid of their King James Bible. I don't care if they get rid of their King James Bible. Because if they get rid of their King James, they're just getting rid of the Bible. I don't care if they get rid of the hymns. I don't care if they get rid of the preaching. I don't care if they get rid of modesty. I don't care if they believe in the non-separation. I don't care where that crowd's going. They're going to be an abomination unto me. If you don't make your mind up to stay separated from that crowd, that crowd will have an influence on you. Amen. That crowd will draw you away from the very Christ that saved you. You say, Brother Hargis, I'm saved. I can't be drawn away into anything. Take your Bibles over to Galatians chapter 1. That's right. Amen. 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 Take your Bibles over to Galatians chapter 1. Amen. Man, my family read this the other day, and the Lord had me to read it again today. Galatians chapter 1. I want you to see something from your Bible. Amen. We have such an arrogance about ourselves today. Right, amen. amen. And listen, can I say we? Amen. amen. I don't want to be that man. Amen. 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 Y'all, y'all hearing me? I don't want to be that man. Amen. I don't want to be a man that, that lives on self-righteousness or on some kind of self-arrogance or some kind of arrival. I, by the way, anybody in here ain't arrived yet. You better put up a good fight. You better endure hardness as a good soldier of Christ. There is nobody in this church that's above being knocked out by the devil. Amen. You better take heed where you stand lest you fall. Amen. There ain't nobody in here that's got so close to God that the devil can't get to you. Hey, you might be the one right on your way out tonight. Amen. That's right. Amen. Oh, I can't, I'm saved. Amen. I, I, can't get, I can't be removed from what I got saved by. You err not knowing the scriptures. You're ignorant because you've read not your Bible. I'm telling you, listen to me. We have an enemy tonight that hates us at the very core. And I'm telling you, hey, the Bible says there is the way. Amen. That leads to life. But I'm always reminded there'll be few there be that find it. The other one, that broad way, many go there at. Amen. The devil's used always the pressures of man Amen. to draw many that are saved. You know why? Because he can't get your soul. But if he can mess up Amen. your testimony, if he can steal your joy, if he can steal your happiness, Amen. he can stop others from getting saved Amen. by the blood of the crucified That's right. Amen. He wants us to stop. He wants us to quit. But we got a God that wants us going around going, glory I'm saved, glory I'm saved. I mean, man, he wants us to have a new song. Our, and by the way, if you are saved and you don't sing, you make me worry about it. Yeah. There ought to be a new song in your heart. Yeah. That's right. If you're so worried about man, you won't sing. I, I can tell you what God you've got. Amen. Yeah. And I'll tell you, you won't last long being worried about what man thinks. Yeah. Amen. Amen. The Bible says in Galatians chapter 1 and verse 6, I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. You say, no, Brother Hart, there ain't people out there trying to drag me away. Hey, I'm going to tell you right now, some of it might be your family members. That's right. That's right. I want you to look at me. Pentecostals do not believe in salvation by grace through faith. That's right, they do not. You can get mad at me all you want. I do not care. Amen. They do not believe that you are saved by trusting Christ in Him alone. That's right. Methodists do not believe that. That's right. Presbyterians. They used to, by the way. Methodists used to look like us. Presbyterians used to look like the great Billy Sunday was a Presbyterian preacher. It ain't the gospel that got the that does not change. It's man that changed. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you right now, there's many 
that's been removed from the gospel and their generations are lost headed to a devil's hell. Amen. Amen. Oh, you believe we're the only ones right. I don't know, but I know that we are right. That's yeah. right. Amen. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. <laughs> Amen. I do know that we are right. Amen. I don't know if we're the only ones, but bless God, I can tell you. But I don't need tongues for my salvation. That's right. I don't need yeah. works for my salvation. That's right. I don't need a, some kind of new uh, a revelation. I got the book right. of revelation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And right. God read it, and he said, The end. Amen. 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 Don't need nothing. Amen. I'm not Mormon. I'm not, uh, Come on. I'm not watchtower. Yeah. Come on. A Jehovah's Witness is headed to the devil's hell. Yeah. Jesus, the very name Jesus means Jehovah saves. They don't believe Jesus saves them. Right. They do their works and knocking on doors saves them. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's but right. I'll tell you right now, you know the Jehovah's Witness say their number one recruits Come on. are watered down Baptists. That's right. Yep. 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 Got really saved by the gospel. Uh -huh. yeah. Really born again by the gospel. And then they come around and look at you and say, but don't you want to do something for the kingdom? Right. I'm not in kingdom age. I'm in church age. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. I'm not in kingdom age. Amen. Listen to me. The only time I'm worried about a kingdom, Brother Tommy, is Revelation chapter 21. That's right. When there's a new heaven. Yeah. And, the new earth, right? and he burns Amen. this place up and it gets to start anew and then down comes Jerusalem. Yeah. I'll be worried about my kingdom then. Amen. Right. And thank God you and I get to rule uh, and reign with him Amen. for all eternity. Amen. Amen. But I ain't trying to sit in the worldly kingdom. Amen. Fire's getting this the next time. I don't want no earthly kingdom. That's right. I want a heavenly kingdom. Amen. But I find he warns them. He says, how have you been so soon removed? How have you been so soon brought into another gospel? You know yeah. why? Because I'll tell you what happened. Pressure got put on. Amen. And some of you are going to have pressure. That's going to come from those Amen. that are around you. And they're going to pressure you to change. Oh, you really believe you got to dress like that? Amen. 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 Come on. Amen. You really think you got to go to church like that? Amen. I, I'm going to just say this right here. I can't find anywhere we're going to church that's just optional. Amen. Come on, brother. Amen. I got enough in Hebrews 10 25 to forsake not the assembly. You don't get, oh, well, you know, Brother Hart, it's the word assembly means to get together. Once again, you're error because you know not the scripture. Right. That word assembly literally means church. Amen. Amen. That's literally what it means. For, so, but I'm not a Bible corrector, Brother Frank, because right. I think God got it right the way He did it. But if it, listen, if you're going to use a little right. different, He says, forsake not the church. That's exactly right. That's right. Getting together in the church. Yeah, check out. In first grade the sixteen one, you can't even take a collection up unless it's at the first day at the church. Amen. 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 I'm not in a kingdom age. I'm in church age. Amen. Amen. And when church age is up and age of grace is up, I'm going to be in the rapture age. Amen. Amen. That ain't even in the Bible. You're not knowing the scriptures. Amen. Gather up means rapture. Yep. So let me help you. I'm gathering up age. Yeah. When I hear of a, a trump that sounds like the voice of an angel, Amen. I hear, come up hither. Yeah. Look at me, I'm not going to care whether you like my doctrine or not. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. When God says, come on up, I'm going to look around and say, oh no, is this the right doctrine? <laughs> is this the right doctrine? Are we lined up? Is this really the right dispensational place? Because because I thought we were supposed to go halfway through, and no when he let it, that will let will be taken out of the way. I, hey, that's the Holy Ghost of God. I'm leaving with him, Amen. 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 But a lot of you won't won't go along the way because of the fear of man. Amen. Jesus knew this because the crowd. You know, I guarantee you, Brother Frank, when the crowd started walking away, Mom, I guarantee you there was a moment. Where they looked out and I and one of them said, My goodness. Are we sure about this? This don't draw a big crowd. Right. My wife was driving and she said, You know what? She said, You ain't gonna like what I'm about to say to you. And when she says that, interpretation means you ain't gonna like what I'm about to say to you. Yeah. <laughs> she said, Daddy. 
Those that are doing it right don't have big crowds. Amen. 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 This isn't where the crowd goes, friend. If you're looking for the popular place, you're in the wrong place. Amen. If you're looking for where the world accepts, Miss right. Jenny, well, as long as the world still hates me, as long as the legalists think that I'm too much on grace Amen. and the liberals think I'm too much on trust in Christ, hey, as long as I'm in the middle row, I believe I'm doing just fine. Amen. And what you'll never find here, you'll never find the crowd in a true Bible believing church. Amen. Now, listen, I ain't trying to run them all off. That's right. But Amen. I'll tell you right now, how many how many have walked in and said, take back to soft the door? Look at me. I am a big B Baptist. Amen. Amen. Big B. Amen. This is the only one, friend. Listen to me. We're the only ones that believe in eternal security of the believer. Yep. Amen. You said, Brother Horace, I'm not going to be a Baptist. Go be, a, go be not be it somewhere else. Amen. Amen. This will always be a Baptist church. Amen. Independent. Fundamental. Oh, what about you? I don't give two horses hind end hairs about Jack Howe. I'm not an independent fundamentalist because of Jack Howe. I am because of the Bible. Amen. 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 I am because of the Word of God. Amen. Amen. I'm not here to impress the crowd. I'm not here to impress the big wigs. I'm here to serve a Christ. Amen. Amen. And many of you will be knocked off because of man. Can I give you the next one? I've got to go on quickly. Many of you will be knocked out because of the destructive roads you choose. Amen. 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 If the crowd don't get them, sin will. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's right, brother. Come on. You might have to help me, Miss Jenny. I just got long faces. <laughs> <laughs> but the crowd don't knock them out. That's right. It'll be their self indulgence that we have. If it ain't the crowd that grabs them, it'll be the lack of acceptance of sin. That pushes them out. Everybody likes the preacher until the preacher sits in their lap for the first time. Yeah, right. Amen. Amen. By the way, that ain't the preacher sitting in your lap. That's, Amen. Right. Amen. That's the Holy Ghost of God. Right. Amen. When That's you right. say, oh, he's such a mean, he's all in. Oh, my, hey, hey, look at me. It's because you don't like the chasing of the Lord. Amen. You don't like that whooping. Hey, thank God, look at me. I ain't upset about getting whooped. At least I know I'm a son. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. Oh mercy! If I'm a son, Miss Jenny, and I'm being whipped, at least I know I ain't going to hell. Amen. But there's so many today, man. Listen to me. They get so upset at the preacher because when they get off into their sin, then they get off. And you, by the way, if, look, look how many steps you got to take back to go backwards. Amen. Watch this. Deep. This is deep homiletics. You ready? <laughs> Amen. Amen. Where are you headed to? Oh, I'm pressing on <laughs> that upward way. Do high time gain in every day. Amen. 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 No Amen. Amen. You, you must have missed this part when you was one, when they would say, come here. Yeah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> come on. Yep. That's a I'm walking with the Lord. I'm going to be here. Amen. I ain't quitting. <laughs> from me, oh Lord. I, I'm going to go all the way to death with you. Amen. You're so far out in the shadows right now. Some of you ain't felt a touch of God so long. Amen. You know what you have felt? You felt that cold hand of spiritual death. Come on. Amen. You, you're out so far from Christ. The moment they, that crowd started walking away from the Lord, listen to me, they didn't have to get too far from Him that they felt the absence of what they used to be drawn with. Amen. Some of you's like that right now. Amen. Who had bewitched you, Galatians? You did run well. Amen. Amen. Who knocked you off? Well, you don't understand. It was the devil. No. Amen. We give him far right. too much credit. Amen. Yep. Well, it was the preacher. I got hurt. He preached a he preached a message one Come time on. and it stepped on my ankles. Amen. Oh, poor preacher. We get blamed for everything. Amen. <laughs> No, I believe it's a Proverbs 16.25 issue. Amen. Amen. Proverbs 1625. There's a way that seemeth right unto the man, but the end thereof the ways of death. 
Amen. Amen. I'll tell you where some of you is going. You're going right out into the death valley. Amen. Yeah, you know, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I shall fear no evil. You can only say that if the Lord, the rod of the Lord is strengthening you. Amen. Amen. You don't get to say that when you're out from God and ain't got the hedge from God and ain't got the protection Amen. of God and you're not being surrounded by the angel of the Lord. Hey, they that fear the Lord, the angel of the Lord encampeth them. Brother Frank, but you don't get to hey, quote Psalm 23 when Amen. God is absent from you. Amen. 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 Man, you'll be let off. Amen. He said, I come to give you life and give it more abundantly. Give you peace, not as the world give it. Amen. Amen. And people get out of here and they say, and this is what they say. I mean, how many times I've heard this? I don't know how I got that far out this quick. Amen. Amen. I'll tell you how you did. You all of a sudden, the King James wasn't as important to you as it used to be. Amen. All of a sudden, holy living wasn't as important as it Amen. used to be. In fact, you, you thought you were so smart. Come on. That when you got on Google, Google shows you a different way. Amen. And you thought to yourself, well, if it's on the internet, it has to be good. Amen. That lady one time got mad at me preaching over tithing. Come on. So she got on the internet Amen. and emailed everybody. She thought she found something to combat me. And the man she found her, hey, look at me. You want to do it his way, I can argue with you. I'm being serious, straight up. You don't want to do 10%. And you want to do, he, he said, go sell everything you have and give it all to the church. Amen. Y'all go live in a cardboard box and be all spiritual if you want. Right? And then, then I guess you got to sell the cardboard box if you do it his way. Because you got time again. Sunday's coming again. <laughs> I, I got on the phone I was trying to tell her. I said, you have lost your ever loving mind. I said, did you hit your head this morning when you woke up? And she said, see, you don't like nobody questioning you. I said, you ain't questioning me. I didn't write that book. I didn't Amen. tell you the tenth of your household was holy unto the Lord. I didn't tell you how to give. And if it was up to me, man, look at me. A fishing, literal fishing would be holiness. Amen. 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 Some of you, if it was up to you, a midday service would be all that we ever have. Because it's not too early. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Come on. I mean, this is being real. Amen. Amen. But then why do you see with the right of the man the other is what he does? Jesus Christ did not share the way. In John 14, 6, it was a declarative statement. He said, I am the way. Amen. The truth and the life. And look what he said. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. He said, I'm the door. You try to come any other way, you're the same as a thief and a robber. Amen. And people want to know why they get knocked out. I'll tell you where you're going. You're going right into your own destruction. And Amen. you ain't going to be able to blame the devil. And you ain't going to be able to blame the church. Amen. And you ain't going to be able to blame the preacher. God knows you chose that way. Amen. Take your Bibles over to Psalm 119. Here, I got to get these messages out of here. When you put a message in your Bible, your Bible wants to go right there. I don't know what that's about. Amen. Psalm 119. Feels good to say it's That's page 659 in the scope of the reference. Amen. You ain't got a scope for reference of it. Ain't. Who's off 659? You got a scope for reference. <laughs> Yeah, yours ain't a scope, but I'm sorry, baby. I love you. <laughs> Psalm 119, 101. Are y'all there? Amen. Psalm 119, 101. Can I just say I love my wife? Amen. I do. I love my wife. Amen. Psalm 119, 101. Are y'all there? Amen. We'll take this down. That's page 660. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> page 660, you ain't got you. Look down there at 101. Yes, it says, I have refrained my feet from every evil way that I, may, that I might keep thy word. Now, you understand, he couldn't keep the word if he was walking any way he wanted to. 
Do you understand what you're dealing with when Jesus is dealing with them? They're dealing with the Word. Yep. Peter said, where should we go? You have the words of eternal life. Amen. I ain't leaving you. I'm going to get saved through you. I'm going to preach through you. I'm going to die because of you. Amen. Amen. But now, if your way is not a good way, if your way is not the way. Amen. Are y'all there looking down in here? Look what he said. He didn't say some evil ways. Amen. Some of y'all got that down. Right? I don't do everything bad. Amen. I, I do avoid some landmines. Uh -huh. Well, guess what? How many, if you only avoid, let's say, let's say you walk right 98% of the time. Amen. And you trust that Bible 98% of the right. time. Amen. What are you trusting in the other 2% of the time? Amen. And then 2% of the time, are you walking the right way or the evil way? Amen. Can somebody help me right Amen. there? Are you walking in the right way or the evil Amen. way? And if you walk in the evil way, you can't even keep his word. Amen. Man, everybody gets pulled up here, Brother Harvey Songs. I'm, I'm batting that 80% of them doing good, right? And you know what that sounds like? It sounds like you trusted in you. Amen. Amen. Sounds like you're going by what you think's right. Amen. 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 Boy, I tell you, it's getting quiet now. Amen. We're enjoying it up to now, but now it's getting brother. rubber hitting the road. Amen. He said every evil way. Amen. Amen. Look back there. He said in verse 1 1, he said, I refrain my feet from every evil way that I might keep thy word. I have not departed from thy judgments, for thou hast taught me how sweet are thy words unto my taste, yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through thy precepts I get understanding. Therefore I hate every false way. Amen. You know, I'm going to tell you, when you get in this walk and you really make your mind a minute, them false ways, they come up. We was watching a documentary one time, a long time ago. And uh, and it was like an archaeological type, you know, Bible archaeology. And when we was watching it, the first video it was it was good, you know. Yeah. He did the little bed rocks and the little dinosaurs. Yeah. And I thought this ain't too bad. But then the second video was started. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And when you're walking right, when you're, you're walking walk in this word, right? Come on, come on. When you're walking with the Bible, yep. and it's a light and a lamp, and I mean, you got your, your feet covered and your pad covered. I'm gonna tell you what happens when an evil way pops up, man. Hey, all of a sudden, I mean, we had to hit the brakes on the second video. I said, Ah! Amen. It's Seventh Day Adventist. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Cut it off. Yeah. Now somebody else said, "Oh, but Harvey said ain't that bad." Seventh Day Adventists do not believe in the blood of Jesus Christ. Nope. That's right. They do not believe in the Lord's Day. Nope. Right. Oh, I mean, I'm so confused on what they even are. They're just Jews. Yeah. Hey. That even poor. that. Amen. 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 <laughs> Be straight up with you. I guess that's about me too. Amen. Amen. <laughs> but he said not some way. He said every false way. I'm going to close right here on the last thing. So here's the question. What about you? Amen. Where will you leave your testimony and legacy when you leave here? See, there comes a time, the Bible says, Hebrews 9, 27, it's a point on the man wants to die, and after this, the judgment. Amen. Amen. And it, it brings you to a place where you're going to be leaving. <coughs> and where you leave here, you won't have to tell nobody what's way you went. Amen. Amen. You'll stand before the judgment. Amen. Seat of Christ. Amen. If you're saved. That's right. Amen. Amen. Let me give you this as a close. I was going to preach a whole section on why I ain't leaving. I was going to say I ain't leaving because I enjoy the shout. I enjoy the worship. I enjoy the Bible. Amen. That's what I was going to get on. But, but God's telling me to come right here and I want you to listen Amen. to me. When you die, and everybody's born under death, Amen. I don't care how young you are, I don't care how old you are. Amen. Sister Marilyn, 
is not promised to die before you. Right. And you're not promised to live longer than her. Now, I don't know how all this works. I'm just going to be honest with you. You can extend your life. I know this by righteousness. But can I tell you, I know righteous people that God took to get other people saved. Amen. Yep. So I don't know how this works. I, can't, I cannot tell you how all this works. Amen. I wouldn't even pretend. But can I tell you, starting right here, that some of you are about to hit a hard reality of how real all this is. Because when you do die, there's no do-overs. And can I be even more stern? Brother Tony, if you come by the way of the sky right now, there's no more do-overs. I know that there's some lost people in here tonight. You've heard the gospel and you've rejected the gospel. You have walked away. Mm -hmm. Up here. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Go and get another shot at it later on. That's right. Not promised. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. Not promised. Amen. 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 Not promised. Amen. You don't have to ask me, Brother Harvest, where am I going to go? Amen. Amen. Oh, I'm so broken hearted to tell you. There's not enough I can tell you to scare you because I, I can't even tell you how bad that place really is. Amen. I can't. Mom, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't even wrap words around Amen. to tell you how bad that place really is. You see, you're just trying to scare me. If I can scare you, I'll drag you up here and I'll help you. But the fact is, you have to choose whether or not you get saved. Amen. 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 Right. But where you will go, that's right. If he comes right now, you get no other chances to be saved. You don't have to die. He just has to come. And when he comes, you'll get not another opportunity to ever be saved right. again. Right. You will go to hell. And there will be nobody that sent you there. You choose to not whether you go there or not. Right. 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 There's some of you that are saved in here. And you're on the wrong path. Amen. 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 You're on the wrong path. And everything in your life, you're just as saved as I am. But everything in your life is pure destruction right now. Amen. Yeah. Right now, everything that you're doing, Amen. you're watching the hand of God. You you put your hand out and God just keeps shoving back down on you. Amen. And you're, you use words like this. You look at me, I'm not done yet. This ain't... Say it. Don't, don't, don't move around. Don't go bathroom break. So let that Holy Ghost conviction start Amen. to weigh you to where you won't run. Hey, use it as a way to learn right now. Amen. Amen. But you use words like, I don't know how. Amen. I'm not sure how this got here. Amen. It feels like I'm doing everything I can do. I'm doing everything that I know how to do. But it's not getting anywhere. It's because God ain't helping you do it. Amen. 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 God's not getting involved in it. When me and her had our lecture, everybody loves the end of that story. Can I tell you the first part of that story that ain't so pretty? On that 1,500, 2,000, whatever it is, and so many years went by, I don't remember how many big it was. Fish grows over the years. I don't want to grow the fish. <laughs> but when that electric bill hit, Brother Frank, we was displaced from our own home. I was so angry. I went down there and I had to stay in a home in one bedroom with a bunch of kids. Yeah. Listen to the nastiest filth you ever heard to listen to in your life. My sis don't make no sense. Yeah. And you know what God did? God said, you're going to stay right there till you come to me. Some of y'all want God just to come by right now and pat you on the back and get a warm, fuzzy feeling and jump up and I'm going to... No, you know what a lot of times can I tell you? The prodigal son did not see the father until he got up out of the pig slop and started making his way back to the house. Amen. 
And I remember whenever me and Kimberly finally, I said, I've done everything. I've sold everything. I've worked as much as I've worked at everything. I never will forget when me and Kimberly finally got down on that bed. My wife grabbed me by the arm and she said, for the love of God, would you just pray? Amen. Amen. And I remember when we got prostrate on that bed and we cried out to God. Some of you ain't cried out so long because you're waiting for that puppet God that you believe you serve yeah. is going to step in and do what you want when you want. But I'm going to tell you, Miss Jenny, he did not show up till we got on it. Amen. 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 I said, God, help us. Amen. Oh, God. And you know all we shout about the ending. But I ask you this, friend. Do you not think he could have showed up a long time before that if I would have just came to him and done what was right? Amen. 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 That's right. There ain't no warm, fuzzy feelings. Now, there is some every now and then, but they ain't all the time. Right. Sometimes God will just do this right here. Mama, he'll just step back and say, Come unto me. Amen. He didn't say, I'll come unto you. He said, come unto me, all oh, you that are left. Oh, my goodness. He, come to me. Get up and you make the move. I'm going to tell you, that prodigal Bible says, when the father saw him afar, he ran to him. But this Abby, he had to see the motion before he ran to him. Amen. Tonight, some of you need to take a step towards salvation. Amen. If you'll just take one step out in this aisle way, God will get a hold of you right there in that aisle way. Amen. Some of you need to take a step in faith to learn how to really live for the Lord. Amen. Whatever your need is tonight, take that step. Amen. Where will you go? I don't know about you, but I'm going to stay with the Lord. Amen. If you need to be saved tonight, take that step. Amen. They can't step if the Lord's been dealing with your heart tonight. You know you're lost. Don't hide from God another time. Lost sinner friend, I'm compelling you to come tonight.